The Invictus Games board has made the decision to remove Harry from his role ahead of the 2025 Invictus Games in Vancouver Whistler, sparking controversy and speculation about the reasons behind the move. The future of Prince Harry's signature project, the Invictus Games, appears shrouded in controversy. Recent developments suggest a growing rift between the Invictus Games Foundation and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. This comes just months before the 2025 Games scheduled for Vancouver and Whistler, Canada. The tabloid headline Harry Gets the Boots, splashed across a British newspaper might be a bit dramatic, but it reflects a simmering tension. While there's been no official announcement of a severed relationship, the Invictus Games Foundation's recent actions speak volumes. Firstly, a noticeable shift has occurred in the Foundation's social media presence. Once prominently featuring Prince Harry and Meghan Markle alongside Invictus athletes, their photos have become conspicuously absent. The Foundation's focus seems to have shifted entirely towards the competitors themselves, highlighting their stories of resilience and sporting achievements. Secondly, there's been a distinct change in tone regarding the royal couple's involvement. Previously, press releases and official statements emphasized Prince Harry's role as founder and patron. These references seem to have been deliberately downplayed in recent communications. This strategic distancing comes amidst reports of a strained relationship between the Sussexes and the Invictus Games organization. Some insiders suggest the Duchess' desire for a more prominent role clashed with the Foundation's established structure. Others point to a growing discomfort within the organisation with the couple's increasing focus on commercial ventures and the detachment from the UK. The Invictus Games hold a special place in Prince Harry's life. Founded in 2014, the Games provide a platform for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women to compete in adaptive sports. The events have become a beacon of hope, fostering recovery and camaraderie amongst veterans. However, since stepping down as senior royals and relocating to North America, Harry and Meghan's involvement with the Invictus Games has become increasingly complex. Their commercial ventures, including lucrative book deals and production deals with streaming giants, have raised concerns about potential conflicts of interest. Furthermore, their criticism of the British royal family and their perceived estrangement from the institution have caused unease. The Invictus Games, after all, rely heavily on the patronage and support of the British armed forces. The potential for a diminished role for the Sussexes in the future of the Invictus Games raises questions. Can the Games retain their emotional resonance without Harry's personal connection? Will the organization be able to navigate the complexities of a royal couple with increasingly commercial interests? The Invictus Games Foundation undoubtedly faces a difficult balancing act. They must honor Prince Harry's legacy as founder while ensuring the Games remain a platform for the inspiring stories of the athletes themselves. Ultimately, the success of the Games hinges on their ability to maintain their core values supporting veterans and fostering a spirit of community regardless of any ongoing controversies.